welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a skincare haul review, a bit of a mix of both really, but basically a few people have been asking me what I use on my skin. I thought, well, nothing special. I don't use amazing products on my skin. My skin's not even amazing. I've got blemishes, dark circles, like everybody else on the internet. I have very dry skin around here and you see me a lot like this in my natural habitat with my dressing gown on, just chilling, no makeup vibes. And a lot of the time, yeah, I spend it like this, chilling at home or I'm in the gym where I try not to wear makeup anyway because you're sweating, your pores are opening, you don't want skin to go, you don't want makeup to go in your skin, to then cause spots and whatever else. So yeah, I'm just going to basically talk about my favourite products that I use, um, but yeah, don't take this for like, this is what you should be using because I really, really don't know. And also, I'm not sponsored by Simple, but every product in this haul seems to be Simple. So, I mean, I'd love it if I was. Shout out to the Simple range, but I'm really not. So, I'm not going to use all these products on my skin now because I'm actually going to do a face mask now um, before I go to bed. But one of the things that I want to do in 2019 is definitely look after my skin more because I think... Yeah, okay, I did I did have like some kind of skin routine, but I didn't like take great care and I didn't do it like meticulously every week. I did try to do, I think I did mention this in another YouTube video, of trying to do a face mask each Sunday, just like preparing my skin for the week. And don't get me wrong, I did stick to that for a good while, but it will by the time I got to the end of the year and definitely like post prep and shows, like prep and show just takes it out on your skin. You get very blemishy and well you're not getting the nutrients from all the foods that you need so like a lot of the time I did spend with a few blemishes and marks upon my face so I thought you know what next year I'm going to make sure that I put a lot of effort into looking after my skin and here we are the first week so it's Friday evening and usually I do this on a Sunday evening before going back to work um, but I'm going to do it on this Friday evening because I'm just not doing anything this Friday. So I'm going to do a face mask in a minute so I'm not going to use all the products as I've just said um, but I want to show you my favourite ones. So I will cleanse my face and show you each one. I'm currently not wearing any makeup but if I was to be wearing makeup I would definitely use the Simple Eye Makeup Remover. Now I have tried so many others and they don't seem to take off as good as this one. I did quite like the Bobbi Brown one, but that was particularly expensive, so I would definitely say this is my go-to one. It lasts me a long time, but I tend to use quite a bit of it, so I think that's my own fault that it doesn't last as long as it could do. Um, but I pair this one with um, the Simple Micellar Water, so I do this first, mainly around my eyes and my eyebrows, where most makeup is, and then tend to go with this one. One thing I would say is that I take my makeup off with um, makeup wipes um, first. So, so I just basically pour it onto a cotton pad. Because I don't have any makeup on, I'm not doing this one. So I'm just going to start with the micellar water. And I simply just do like circular motions all over my face. And after I've done this and I get the majority of the makeup off, I would actually wash my face after this because... I feel like, yeah, so much can come off with these, I mean, even now, like, I feel like dirt is coming off my skin, and every day our faces are put through, you know, the particles outside, things that are not so clean indoors, dust, everything, like, hits your face and your skin, and it does need a lot more protection than we realise, and... Once I've done this, I usually would wash my face yet again because I don't think this takes everything off. So this one would be initial like makeup remover, then it would be this one, and then I now like to wash my face properly with usually a simple or exfoliating face wash. And not all the time, it's a soft exfoliating, it's not exfoliating every single day. But then sometimes I would actually have an exfoliating mitt, which then I would exfoliate the skin again after I've done all of this so that it's getting a proper cleanse. The thing is with these they it does say actually on them they're artificial perfume colour free there's no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin there's no alcohol there's no animal ingredients they've also got added in vitamin b3 vitamin c and it's triple purified water so I do like the simple products because I do think they're simple there's not loads of added things into them some 
perfumed here and oh it's got added this in it like I do think they're very simple so I tend to go with these ones and then obviously after I wash my face and everything else I then finish with the simple light moisturizer the nighttime moisturizer tends to be a little bit heavy for my skin it makes me feel a little bit I'm a little bit like oily um, and then a little bit dry around here so I use some different ones on different parts of my face so on different areas of my face again the simple eye balm this is incredible this is amazing I love this and it's probably my favorite thing from the simple range and basically I used to get like really leaky eyes, you can see here like they're still a little bit damaged I think, not damaged but like the skin's a little bit sore, uh, my eyes just tend to like weep so this would really really help and it really did soothe it like underneath where I have dark circles anyway and then the corner where it used to get really really dry I would add this. So once I've done all that I do find that my skin is particularly dry in this area, um, sometimes it like, tends to like bleed and crack open sometimes, so. so I have been using some ones that are really highly rated, the ones that are from the pharmacy, I've been using a double base gel, which my sister gave me, which really really does help, and I've also been using this one, Child's Farm, which everybody's raving about, uh, raving about at the moment, and I don't blame them because it is incredible, um, just a little bit expensive. Um, so I try to keep it on like, well, not the wrong inside because this next product um, is also the one that I use in conjunction with my eyes. So on my eyes and my nose to finish, I would apply this Elemis Pro Collagen Balm. Now this I think is actually made for your eye area but because it is quite oily it attacks the dryness underneath my nose and I think that really works very well but I only wear that to like bed so like a nighttime oil kind of thing because I think otherwise my skin gets like too greasy for like daytime or like when I'm going to put makeup on top. One that I think is a really good all day one, one for you to just whack on in the morning is definitely Nivea Daily Essentials. This is the one that is the moisture gel and the express primer. This one is fab because I like to put that as a base once I've washed my face and then put my makeup on top so that one does really work if you haven't got time to do you know your step by step normal regime and then pinpoint all your areas. Speaking of pinpointing areas, I do get some blemishes and some spots as do we all and the one that I have found been, that has been the most useful is this one, Spotless Skincare. I can't actually remember where I got this from but I just recommend googling it and seeing where you can get it from so basically it says it's a calming treatment gel that works within four hours. This, I can feel it working, I put it on my skin and my skin like try like it starts, to, it starts to tingle and I can feel, it feels like it's working. So yeah, I found that one to be the best so far. Um, other ones that I do recommend is for my skin on my body, like not my face, I use the Soap and Glory Righteous, Righteous, Righteous Butter. Um, this one's just lovely and I put this on not all the time, mainly before I'm going to self tan. Um, also for my hands and my feet, my hands they have eczema which is clearing up slowly, if you guys have seen my previous videos you'll know how bad it got, and my feet with being an athlete do tend to crack and get quite sore and definitely these are the guys to go to, but these, I know this for sure is definitely sold in Aldred's but they do an amazing hand cream, an amazing foot cream that are like pure oil and you just can put them on to, to go to bed, put socks on and it soaks into your skin throughout the night but I also love their lip balm which I've had in so many different flavours or colours or whatever you'd call this one's pomegranate flavour and it's actually no colour but I, the last one I had was this colour and it actually was a moisturising lip balm but it came out in this colour so you, were lo you looked like you were wearing lipstick but it was actually a moisturising balm so yeah definitely Burt's Bees and the last one I'm going to say is a little bit expensive but definitely worth the money it's an aloe vera uh, item and I definitely there's a lot of aloe vera items I like, but this has to be my all-time favourite. This is the Aloe Nourishing Serum. This is incredible. Like, 
I don't have another word for it. It's just like an oil and it feels so soft when you put it on your skin. So I, I tend to not use it ever so much just because I want it to last. But yeah, as you can see, it's, it's pretty empty. So yeah, they're my all go-tos. And then I'm going to talk to you about my face masks and what I do to help my skin from the inside out. So it's definitely this one that's my go-to. These are everywhere. I can't pronounce the make, but basically they're in packets and I decided to go ahead and buy this one. It was a couple of pounds more expensive, but it's definitely lasted me. And it says you can get like seven uses out of it and I must have got like 10, so I think it's definitely worth the money. And then my next one that I would recommend is the Radical Super Acidics Extreme Acid Peel. So I tend to just put this in my T-zone area, um, not all over my face, but they're both amazing. Um, but they're the only ones that I go to. I don't really do them that often that I need loads of face masks, so they're just the two that I've got. The main things that, to do for your body from the inside out is water and I cannot emphasize this enough when I upped my water especially like you have a lot of water on prep and like peak week etc once I started eating normally again post show and everything I upped my water and like kept my water levels high and they have made a massive difference so definitely water and I also naturally just do take multivitamins and iron just because um Sometimes iron deficiency can come out in discoloration of the skin and I also have this. Obviously there's other complications with me so everyone's not like the same but there's lots of vitamins that you can take for skin, hair and nails. I would definitely like a research into which ones that you're going to take um, because I think some of them can be a con. But I like to just take an all-round multivitamin and, you know, do the odd things like, uh, I've seen a few things like on YouTube, especially like just advertising tea bags or cucumbers and lemons on your eyes and stuff like that and don't get me wrong, I've had a play around with them all and some of them have made me feel more refreshed and you have to just find what makes, what, what works for you and what makes you and your skin feel better. So have a little play and let me know what you enjoy and what you like. I definitely like um, taking my vitamins, getting my water in and green tea. Tea. green tea really does help me I feel like my skin is better um, when I take green tea but obviously everyone has their own opinions and some people feel that that's a placebo and you know everybody's different so just find what works for you and especially with regarding like face and skincare simple isn't gonna work for everyone Burt's Bees isn't gonna work for everyone but find out what works and your skin responds to these are just my go-to's they're my favorites and they are ones that I would recommend definitely so I hope this helps some of you guys and thanks for asking the question and any more questions please leave in the comment section below see you in the next one bye guys Bye.